Welcome back to All Mixed Up Special Holiday Edition. Today is it, the dessert round, and we'll be crowning the champion. Emmons out in front right now, but close behind, Oleg and Bev, nothing is lost. They could win this all right now. You know, the dessert competition seems to be the Achilles heel of many a savory chef. Not this guy. Me, I got sweets under control. But right now, I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast, get this day started, and find out who's gonna be crowned the All Mixed Up Champion. The students who we select will be tested on their culinary skills and imagination as they create and prepare three different dishes, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert, using three unique ingredients selected by our judges. So the orange bitters is in the... It's in everything. What are you making? It's going to be nice cracker balls. The winner will receive a cook and bakeware set by Americraft and a trip to Trinidad during Carnival. But that's not all. Every contestant will receive a Mia Allegro home appliance set designed to inspire creativity in the kitchen for special gourmet and everyday meal preparation. The students' creations are appraised by our industry expert judges who will award them up to 10 stars to each of them based on two main factors, taste and presentation. So on flavor, I gave you five stars. That Angostura tuna just bowled me over. The student with the most stars at the end of week three will be declared the new all mixed up holiday champ. For me, I am thinking out of the box. Whatever happens, it will happen. You know, it's a lot of pressure back there. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Last week, the competition was fierce as our student chefs pushed their culinary envelopes for the entree round. I think it's huge pressure for us, but I think it's you have to take this chance and you have to finish it in the best presentation as possible. All my batter, my egg mixture, every, it, was, it was gone. The winner and still in the lead is Emin Eugenio. He's 22 years old and originally from the Philippines and grabbed 117 stars. But 46-year-old Beverly Calhoun and 27-year-old Ukrainian native Oleg Pavlyuk still have plenty of time to battle and take the lead. I'm thinking uh, it's going to be another surprise because, you know, it's uh, a good, more interesting, 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 you know. I'm feeling confident, so I'm all good with that. How sweet it is. When we come back, we're going to unwrap desserts. Welcome back to All Mixed Up Special Holiday Edition, where our three culinary student contestants are competing for the title of All Mixed Up Champ. We're at the Lincoln Culinary Institute in West Palm Beach, Florida, with our three culinary student contestants who will be competing in the dessert category. All right, welcome back to the All Mixed Up Holiday Edition Kitchen. Evan, how you feeling? Good, chef. Bev? Really good. Oleg? Excellent. Bev, how was your experience uh, in the entree round? What'd you think? I thought it was really crazy. Yeah? yeah. You like the switch was, up part? You like I, that? I kind of did because I learned a couple little things about that. So, yeah, it was nice. Cool, nice. cool. Evan, I mean, how about you? Yeah, you it was fun. Name? It was fun, really, Chef, because it's like if you're in a real kitchen, you have to work as a team that really understands you, you know? Right, so good. All right. Well, while we're speaking about teamwork and we're speaking about uh, day three, today's about dessert, right? So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. What do you want to hear first, Evan? Good news. Good news? Well, good news is, I'm gonna give you as much time as you want to prepare your dessert. <laughs> okay. what, are you, what are you laughing at? <laughs> you don't think I'm sincere? Uh, no. I don't think so. You don't think so? Why don't you ask me what the bad news is? Then? Yeah, I want the bad news first anyway. Well, every five minute interval is gonna cost you a star. Ooh. But the good news is I'm gonna give you 15 minutes for free. So you get 15 minutes for free. So if you can make your dessert in 15 minutes, it's 15 minutes, you're in, you're good. If you need 20 minutes, it's gonna cost you a star. If it's, you need 25 minutes, it's gonna cost you two stars. Awesome. All right? Stelfo's Animal Crackers, they're fantastic. They're great. Time starts now. Let's mix it up. Ralph has given us 15 minutes to cook a dessert using the Stelfo's Animal Cracker. So he was gonna give us all the time in the world. I could have made anything, taken all day, but I would have had all my stars gone doing it. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, no, no. Beverly, how are we doing over here? I'm doing awesome, chef. And what are you making? I am making a cobbler and I'm using the animal crackers as my thickener with the, my berries. So in a limit, what we have is only 15 minutes, but in my case, I'm thinking I can do faster. Yeah, actually, my dish, I did like maybe seven or maybe six minutes before. What are you making? It's going to be nice cracker balls. I'm looking at Ammon Station and I'm thinking, damn, <laughs> what is all this stuff he's got? How do you do that in that much time? I don't know. 
And you're making a sorbet? Yes, chef. Are you gonna have time to make a sorbet? I am hoping, chef, and I'm crossing my fingers right now. I'm walking up to the judges with my cobbler, and I'm looking at it, and I, I just wanted to cry. I have for you here a uh, very cobbler, and then I have a nice uh, whipped cream with fresh mint in it. For me, the animal cracker needs to be nice and crunchy for a cobbler, and uh, maybe it was, and then we lost that with the cream on top. That whipped cream with the mint is delicious. Yeah, it's a wonderful with the berries. But I also like the fact that she used uh, ground up animal crackers to thicken the, the actual berry component of it. Interesting, she did it well. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. All I'm hoping is that my custard is cooked, even though I put it on a pile of dry ice to seize up properly. Hi judges, I made for you today a munchkin, and then I also made for you a passion fruit raspberry sorbet with an animal cracker on top. That's tasty. Sorbet is very good, but it's a little soft, obviously. Yeah. That's the stuffed chocolate really animal good. cracker is kind of a cool idea. It's a little soggy. Well, I love the coconut. You know, he, he pumped it up. Pumped up the flavor. That's pretty good. With that. Surprised yeah. he pulled it off in the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, is that possible? Yeah, you could do all this in 15 minutes, Chef? Everything's possible. I made for you animal crackled balls. Um, I, I guess if I got these for dessert, I'd rather have a couple smaller ones. Mmm, and it's dry. They it's need very... it to be much smaller, I because I don't think you could eat a whole one of these. The, the flavor is quite good, though. I think he needed to incorporate something into the crackers. I don't think that there was anything like a citrus or some sort of another flavor. You're right. Because it's really like eating a, a large piece of animal crackers. All right, welcome back to the all mixed up holiday edition kitchen. How are you feeling right now? I'm very nervous about the pumpkin. Okay, how are you feeling, Bev? I'm nervous. Oleg? I seem comfortable. You seem comfortable? You always seem comfortable. You're a cool cucumber, my friend. Well, listen, the Libby's pumpkin is a fantastic ingredient for the appetizer and the entree round, but for the dessert round, it should really scream, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you 25 minutes on the clock. Easy peasy, right? No worries. And there's one other thing that I've done. I've hidden the can opener to open up the pumpkin in the kitchen. The time will start not when you find the can opener, but when I ring the bell, and that time is now. Let's go. I'm go like crazy. I'm trying to figure out where is it. I'm look everywhere. I'm just being like crazy. Start looking. I was blind, but now I can see. So we're all searching, running around crazy. Well, thank God we had those extra minutes, but jeez. <laughs> I would never put it right underneath your nose. Oh my God, I have to make this cake, I have to make an ice cream for my dessert, and I don't have pumpkin. How am I gonna open the pumpkin can? I'm fine, guys. <laughs> Thank God for Olay. <laughs> he found it. Yeah, go Oleg. Thanks, Oleg. <laughs> it's uh, actually like pancake. Stuff it with uh, natural pumpkin. Oh, it's good. a uh, ricotta cheese. I am taking my plate to the judges, and all I'm hoping is they'll gonna like the dessert that I made. I made for you today a pumpkin spiced cake with a white chocolate mousse on top. And you know the, the pumpkin cake? I get the nice pumpkin, <clears throat> seasonal. But to me, I really have to think about whether that's pumpkin. It's actually quite good, the white chocolate, chocolate on white top. Chocolate oh, that's delicious. fabulous. Great combination. I made today uh, stuffed crepes with uh, pumpkin puree and also ricotta cheese inside. I really like it. It's pretty good. Compared to the other pumpkin nice. usages the last couple weeks, this has a lot more flavor. Great holiday dessert. Change for a pumpkin pie, sort of. Yep. Use that pumpkin, but in a different way. You can always way. make a pumpkin pie and a pumpkin crepe Ooh, to go yeah. with it. I like that. Hello, judges. We have pumpkin today. And uh, what I did is a pumpkin wonton. 
<laughs> and I actually inside have a cookie, the animal cookie, inside of it so you get a nice crunch with all the softness. I have a Stoffer's Animal Cracker Camel on mine. Do you taste basil? Yes. Yeah, there is basil. It's, here's some green. Or is it mint? That's actually very good. Yes, yeah, she did a very nice job. The presentation was nice, and I think she might be the first one to have all three ingredients into a dish. She got the trifecta. That's the ah, trifecta. You're right. Angostura, animal crackers, Libby's pumpkin. Very Brilliant. Good. When we come back, the dessert challenge continues, and you're not going to want to miss this. Well, welcome back to the All Mixed Up Holiday Edition Kitchen. How you feeling? Good, Chef. Uh, two desserts down, one to go. How you feeling about that, Oleg? Good. All right, well, right now you've got the Angostura Orange Bitters, an incredible ingredient, herbaceous, flavorful, and really gonna make your dessert sing. I'm gonna give you a bonus for finishing early, if you can do it. If you can do your dessert in under eight minutes, you can have three gold stars. If you can do your dessert in under 25 minutes, now you get nothing. Makes Everybody sense. understand? Yes. We got it? Time starts. Now let's mix it up. So Ralph offers us the opportunity to get three stars if we finish under eight minutes. I'm on. Are you kidding? I'm like, I can do this. Oh, and I need those stars bad. Yes, ah. yes, I'm making French toast with orange orange bitters, and I've actually put the bitters in the bread first so that it will have a little bit more flavor. So you made your own bread. That's not your normal bread. Oh, this is a uh, Yummy. I'm thinking in my head that I could have finished my dessert on eight, on, on eight minutes. We're given 25 minutes, right? Yeah. No, I had a lot more uh, complex things that I was going to do to this dessert, but while I'm making it, I'm thinking, I need those stars. So I'm going to leave off a bunch of things that I was going to do. I'm just, I need the stars. Eight minutes have expired. Oleg, you got all the time in the world. OK, I'm done. The window has passed. OK, so I'm walking up to the judges, and I have my little plate with my French toast sticks and my orange butter, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, yeah, I got this. OK, judges, I have made for you today Angostura orange bitters, uh, French toast with a nice uh, orange bitter syrup as well with butter. And you definitely get the bitters in the sauce. It's a pretty strong, I would say. That's way overpowering with the Angostura bitters. That's just. I can take it in the bread, I'm but if you're putting guys, the syrup over it, it's. Uh, too much. It's way too much. Uh, unfortunate, it's a great idea, but she overdid it. I made for you nice uh, orange mousse today. Mm. This is well done. This is how you use Angostura yeah. orange bitters. Yeah, very subtle. Yeah, you get that orange flavor, but mm -hmm. it's still. It doesn't overpower. It enhances it. It's like a surprise, like a flavor punch. Like, whoo, you know, what is in there? And it's absolutely delicious. You did a nice job. I made for you today a flourless chocolate cake infused with Angostura aromatic bitters. I also made for you a orange sorbet with the Angostura orange bitter. And I also made for you an au jus of pumpkin spices with the Angostura aromatic bitters. It looks very pretty. Yeah, again, Emmons' presentation is gorgeous. Yes, great. I love that orange in the flourless chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. That is really that good. That is delicious. The bitters is done right. Yeah, you very easily could have overpowered that chocolate, but he really did a nice job. Mm -hmm. good job. When we come back, we're going to check in with our judges and find out which culinary student made the best dessert using the key ingredients of animal crackers, orange bitters, and pumpkin. Plus, today we're going to crown an all-new, all-mixed-up champ. You can feel the excitement in the air, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the All Mixed Up Special Holiday Edition. The aspiring student chefs from the Lincoln Culinary Institute in West Palm Beach, Florida, have prepared three different desserts using pumpkin, orange bitters, and animal crackers. The judges have tasted the dishes and are ready to comment and assign stars for taste and presentation. So students, 
This week, we were working on desserts. First up was the Storfer's Animal Crackers. Emman, your dish, the, uh, the custard, was a, a little bit runny, but the flavor was, was great. And the, uh, the use of the Storfer's Animal Crackers was pretty interesting. I thought you did a great job. I'm surprised you got all of that put together in such a short amount of time, just 15 minutes. Uh, but you pulled it off. It was very impressive, uh, both in presentation and in flavor. So in the dessert round uh, this week, you were using Libby's 100% pure pumpkin. You knocked it out of the park this time. Thank you. Your uh, pumpkin spice cake was fantastic. Uh, the gelato was super. The cinnamon flavor that you mixed with the pumpkin was delicious. The presentation was gorgeous. The pumpkin flavor came through. Emin, I uh, like your previous desserts. This just blew me away. It was subtle. It boosted flavor. Um, the flourless chocolate cake, Angostura and chocolate, mm, is a perfect match. I love this dessert. So for me, it's the best thing I've tasted in during this season. Beverly. Yes, chef. You were using Stoffel's animal crackers to make a berry cobbler. I thought it was great. I really liked it. I liked your presentation this time. The, the flavors were wonderful. The little bit of crunch with the animal crackers was terrific. Certainly loved the uh, hint of mint that you put into the whipped cream topping. That was a really nice surprise. Beverly, your dessert using Libby's 100% Pure Pumpkin was a pumpkin wonton. You used all three of the products. Um, very impressed there. So also presentation was much better. You really, again, pumped up the pumpkin flavor. Once again, it was fabulous. Beverly, uh, throughout the course of these several days, I have absolutely loved your cooking. Unfortunately, with this French toast, it was such a clever idea, but you way overused the Angostura orange bitters, so much so that it was inedible. I really liked the presentation. It looked like a dessert that you would find in a restaurant. I mean, only a couple of drops of Angostura bitters is, is enough. Right, right. And it was way too much. It was horrible. Oleg, I thought it was an interesting use of the animal crackers, but for me, the balls were dry. If you had put a whole lot more chocolate sauce on it, eh, I'm not even sure that would have done it, but it would have helped. Oleg. Your dessert made with Libby's 100% pure pumpkin was a pumpkin crepe. And I will say you did a very nice job. I personally felt that the flavor could have been bumped up a little bit more. But it was very nice, very unique. I like the crepe, it was nice and thin. There was nice brown color on it. It was executed very well. Oleg. I liked this dessert. I loved your use of Angostura orange bitters. I thought the presentation was cute. I like that in the orange, you know? I think you did a nice job. I know you love to do a lot on the presentation, but I think that you're, you really showed some progress. Well, this is it. The all mixed up holiday edition kitchen where I'm gonna reveal the winner. You did great with the Libby's pumpkin. You did great with the Angostura bitters, and you did fantastic with the Stofa's animal crackers. You should really be proud of yourselves. Well, there can only be one winner. In third place, with a total of 165 gold stars, is Oleg. Thank you, I very appreciate it. You did a great job, my friend. Thank you should you. be very proud of yourself. And then you did fantastic desserts. You did great entrees. You did exciting appetizers. Bev, your down-home flavors really shined and everybody loved everything, but there can only be one winner. A trip to Trinidad and Tobago. AmeriCraft bakeware and cookware set and bragging rights of the all mixed up holiday edition champ. And with a total of 201 gold stars, the winner is Emin. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs>
I had a great time. I got a lot of feedback on my cooking and I really enjoyed it and I really put it into my mind, into my heart and I know that I'm going to go forward um, and I'm going to have a good time doing it. I think it's all experience what I'm getting to for this moment is going to help me for in my future. All I can say is I'm, I'm so honored that I, I was chosen to be on this um, reality TV show and I hope I let my Filipino people proud. On behalf of all the contestants, we'd like to thank you for watching All Mixed Up Holiday Edition. I was your host, Ralph Pagano. See you next time. <laughs> to see All Mixed Up again or to find out more about today's key ingredients, go to allmixedup.tv. You like cooking? Join in the conversation on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash all mixed up TV.